What's up, YouTube? I'm back at you with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to give my prediction for the LSU Tigers versus the Florida State Seminoles. Uh, this is a very anticipated matchup, guys. And um, I'm going to be honest, I went back and forth on who I think would win this matchup. And um, I'm going to just go ahead and get into the stats and uh, just give you a little background of both teams. Um, this is a very exciting matchup, guys. You, know, you got two teams. Uh, ranked in the top 10, uh, you got number five LSU Tigers playing against the number eight Florida State Seminoles. Uh, both teams played last season in their season openers. Um, very, very close matchup last season. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think Florida State won 24-23. Um, some key plays were made, you know, in the game. And um, a lot riding on this game, in my opinion. Um, it's going to tell you. Uh, kind of be a gauge of where both teams are, you know, far as how, how better they even got since last season. And um, I'm going to just go ahead and read off some stats. Of course, uh, Florida State got Jordan Travis. Uh, in my opinion, a uh, huge, uh, it's huge for him to come back for the Florida State Seminoles. Uh, great player. Uh, got deceptive speed, can pass the ball, can do it all, man. Just plays with a lot of swagger out there and um he got some guys man at wide receiver um some big targets man uh florida state man uh they got johnny wilson and they got michigan state transfer keon coleman i mean those are some guys man some huge targets man uh wilson he's six foot seven and uh he's a fourth year junior and um we all know he got nfl potential I mean, this guy's ready already to be in the NFL. Uh, he caught 43 passes for 897 yards and five touchdowns in 2022. And Coleman, he had 58 receptions for 798 yards and seven scores last year. So uh, they got those two beasts of a player, you know, at the wide receiver position for both of them guys. And they also got Jaheim Bell from uh, South Carolina, another talented player, uh, tight end that can do it all, man. So uh, Florida State got some guys, man, at that receiver position that makes them, when you look at it on paper, like, geez, like, they got some great players, man. And um, the Seminoles, man, just overall, roster-wise, like, pretty, pretty good players. And I'm going to just read off some more of their uh, statistics from last season. If I'm not mistaken, I think they still got Trey Benson. I could be wrong about that. Let me see. Yeah, they still got Trey Benson. He got had uh, 990 yards last season with nine touchdowns, averaging 6.4 yards. I mean, this Florida State team is talented, man. That's just on the offensive side. Defensively, they got Jared Verse. I mean, uh, he can do it all, man. This, this guy, a heck of a player, um, can do pretty much anything, you know, at the defensive side of the ball, but uh, very freakish, you know, on the defensive line, you know, uh, had nine sacks last season in 2022. And um, they also got uh, Patrick Payton as well. Um, another great player, you know, uh, was the ACC's rookie of the year last season, you know, uh, and ranked 10th in national, with, you know, tackles for losses in the ACC. So, I mean, and then they also got Fabian Lovett as well. I mean, Florida State is just loaded, man, uh, all over the field, man. And um, had them ranked at number eight, in my opinion. I feel like they're a team that can make a run for it, you know, the national title this upcoming season. So, uh, great team overall. And um, great defensive front, like I said. Uh, Jared Verse, I mean, just a beast of a player on that D-line and um, – LSU going to have their hands full. I'm going to just feel like that up front. And um, speaking of LSU, you know, LSU got some guys too. You know, they're, they're no slouch. LSU is just as uh, talented, you know, as any other team in the country. They recruit at a very, very high level. And um, they was able to accomplish some things last season, you know, with Brian Kelly at the helm last season. So um, started quarterback, they got Jane Daniels, threw for 200. I mean, 2,913 yards last season. 
Uh, he was also their leading rusher last season with 885 yards rushing on the ground. Uh, this dude, like I said, he got legs as well, just like uh, Jordan Travis. You know, uh, definitely has to pick up, you know, in my opinion, you know, his passing downfield. But if he get that down, you know, he's going to be a problem. He's already a problem with his legs. If he can pass the ball too, uh, LSU can be very, very lethal, man. And LSU is bringing back a lot of production on the offensive side of the ball as well. Uh, they're bringing back that whole offensive line, you um, know, that's going to be key. You know, LSU's offensive line versus Florida State defensive line. That's going to be the matchup, in my opinion. But uh, they do have a guy that can pass the ball in Garrett Nussmeyer. Uh, he was able to get 800 yards last season. You know, he was able to get five touchdowns. Uh, Jay Daniels had 17 as a starter, but uh, they got two capable quarterbacks that can win the game, guys. Like I said, Garrett Nussmeyer is not much of a runner. He's the passer. Jay Daniels not much of a passer, but he's the runner. So, um, But they're surrounded by talent, guys. Like I said, the offensive line, all five of them are returning on the offensive line. So they got experience at the old line. Uh, wide receiver. They got Malik Neighbors. Uh, this guy is a freak of a player. 1,017 yards last season. Great player. Uh, they also got, um, what's his name? Uh, Malik Neighbors. And then they also have, I'm trying to blank on his name. Uh, guy, Brian Thomas Jr. Uh, I just drew a blank. Yeah, Brian Thomas Jr. Uh, he only got 361 yards, but of course he's going to get more. Uh, touches this upcoming season, more passes passed to him. Uh, great player. Uh, running back, you know, they got a lot of guys coming back. Uh, they got, in my opinion, Josh Williams. I think he's going to be the guy. Uh, he had 532 yards last season. Watch out for him. He's going to be a good player. Uh, I think still they got Noah Kane. He's still there. Now, another guy I forgot to mention on the uh, receiver court, they got Aaron Anderson for Alabama. Uh, I hate that he left us. That's going to be a beast of a player for LSU as well. So LSU is talented offensively, man. Uh, got players all over the play, uh, field. Uh, they did take a hit defensively, though. Uh, Mason Smith, uh, he's not going to be able to play. Uh, he's suspended. But um, they still got Harold Perkins, you know, at the linebacker position. This guy was a freshman last season and did a phenomenal job for LSU last season. Um, they'd like to use him to spy the quarterback. And it's, he's going to have to play a, a key role in this matchup, in my opinion, against Jordan Travis because Jordan Travis can take off at any time. You know, Harold Perkins Jr. is a really, really good player. Uh, in my opinion, he's the best player on their team right now considering that Mason Smith is not going to play. But they still got Makai Wingo. You know, they still got guys on that line that can play. And, um, they still got some dogs, man, on, on that defensive line. So uh, they're no slouch as well. So they had to dip in the uh, transfer portal to get some guys, you know, in the secondary. But uh, LSU is going to be really, really good, in my opinion, defensively. Uh, they have Matt House again as their defensive coordinator. So I expect LSU to be a really, really good all-around team as well. Now, I had to get my prediction for this matchup, you know, like I said, players to watch are Johnny Wilson and Keon Coleman and Jaheim Bell for Florida State. Got to watch those guys. Uh, see what they're going to do against LSU secondary. That's going to be a key matchup. And can LSU establish themselves on the offensive line against the Florida State uh, defensive line? That's going to be a key matchup, in my opinion. Like I said, uh, and also running back for uh, LSU, uh, John Emery, he's he's not going to be playing as well from what I was reading. So, uh, But like I said, LSU still talented. They got Josh Williams, guys like that, Noah Kane that can step up. Now, prediction, like I said, I went back and forth on who I think would win this matchup. And like I said, it's going to come down to that the line of scrimmage between LSU's offensive line versus uh, Florida State's defensive line. And um even though this is going to be on the road for LSU, they're playing in Florida. I got LSU winning this matchup. 
I can't give a prediction of, of a score, but I got LSU win this matchup. I think it's going to be close, but uh, LSU, they want to right their wrongs. I kind of hate it for them that they that don't have Mason Smith. I think he would have made a huge difference in this matchup if he were playing. But since he's not playing, I still got LSU winning by a close margin. Uh, this is going to be a good matchup in my opinion. Like I said, it can go either way. But I just feel like overall LSU has the more talent, you know, in my opinion, or more experience. Both teams are talented, but I, I feel like LSU has more talent. Uh, going against teams, you know, like Georgia, you know, last season, even though uh, they didn't win the matchup, uh, late in the game they showed some promise and was able to put up some points. So like I said, uh, to beat my Alabama Crystal Tide last year, um, beat some teams, you know, last season, you know, was able to beat, uh, you know, some good teams in my opinion. But uh, they dropped a couple of games, you know, but the games they dropped, you know, were two good teams. Like I said, Florida State and Tennessee, you know, both of those teams were really, really high, highly ranked. So, um, but I just like LSU or uh, I like Brian Kelly, what he's doing with that program. Uh, but I also like what Mike Norvell is doing with Florida State. So it can go either way, but I got LSU winning this matchup. Um, what do you guys think? You know, leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section. And once again, if you haven't, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll definitely be back with more college football content. Thanks, guys, and roll tide.